Hey guys, welcome back to our Fuzzy Pals. Today we are doing an unboxing of something called Knox Gear. Knox Gear is a illuminated harness that you put on your dogs. It's great for areas like where we live, where it gets dark really fast. So after work, when we take the dogs out for a walk, it's quite dark outside and we don't have any street lights or sidewalks for that matter. So I kind of wanted to get it and see what it's like for them to wear this during uh, winter walks. All right, so let's see what it looks like here. So obviously you can choose the size of your dog. Oh, this is not a treat, <laughs> Are you excited to get these harnesses? All right, let's see what they look like. All right, so this is the Knox Gear Lighthound visibility vest. This is extra large, so this is for Jasper. <laughs> Jasper's chewing up the box. He loved, loves to tear up boxes. Okay, so let's take a look. Whoa. So there's also a power cord in here, uh, a USB cord that you can charge so that you don't have to change the battery. So that's good. Whoa, it's already lighting up. I don't know if you can see right now, but it's like flashing in rainbow colors. Cool. We're gonna have to test it out in the dark because I really wanna see what this looks like. All right, so this is good for morning walks, evening walks, search and rescue, service, hiking, camping, hunting, training, games, and backyard fun. So I think actually you can choose the color that it flashes in, so that's cool. All right, so this is a large. A large is for 40 to 95 pound dogs. Whoa, that's cool. All right, so we'll have to test it out on these guys when we go walk them um, when it gets a little bit darker. We're gonna leave a link below if you wanted to also try it for yourself and we'll let you know how we like it. All right, so we're gonna try to put these light hound um, harnesses on them. It already looks really bright. We're gonna show you how dark it is in our neighborhood when we take them out for a walk at night. All right, so we just have to put that over his head and then buckle. Good boy, Jasper, so, so patient. Oy, oy, oy. Okay, and then I just have to make sure this is on. All right, cool. Harry, come, Harry. Harry, let's go, let's go, let's go Harry. Let's go on a walk. Yeah, okay, so you put the, the loop that's closed over their heads so that this ring is facing their tail. And of course you want this light thing on the, on, their, on the top of their back. And then you just wrap it around him. Oh, <laughs> I have to adjust because he's too big. And this is like a, a buckle that you can adjust and if you push it down, it'll lock it. All right, Harry. All right, Harry, let's try again. Okay, much better. Hey, wait, wait, Harry, wait. All right, cool, it looks good. So Harry uh, is, he pulls really hard when he walks, so I'm gonna use another collar on him instead of using the built-in one, but Jasper is okay. Jasper doesn't pull as much, so I'm, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I know you're getting too excited to go out. So I'm just gonna use the, the ring that's included on Jasper's when we go for the walk, cause he doesn't pull as much. So we're still in the process of training Harry not to pull and we kind of have to use this choke collar on him, but it's not, there's no prongs on the inside, so it's not gonna hurt him that much. Harry, come on. Good boy. Yeah, so I'm just gonna loop Jasper's here because he doesn't pull as hard. Okay, and then to turn on, you just push this button here. Ooh. And there's actually six different modes um, of light that you can choose from and we'll show you that when we when we get outside. All right, Harry, sit. Sit. Harry, sit. Sit, please, Harry. Good boy. Harry, sit. Come on, you can do it. Sit. Good boy. Wait. 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 Wait, no, Jasper, no. No. Oh. All right, whatever. Good boy.
So right now I have Jasper set to blue and Harry set to yellow. You can change these colors. There's six different modes. Let's see what else. Oh, what else? What other modes we have? All right, so what you do is you, you press the power button again to switch. Oh, Jasper's pink now. And then Harry turned green. I mean, yeah, they really light up. It's much better than this little arm thing that we have here. We used to just wear these things on our arms, hoping that cars will see us. But as you can see, there's no street lights here. There's no sidewalks here and cars just kind of drive through. So walking them at night is a little bit dangerous, especially being Jasper having mostly black fur. It's hard to see him. Um, and it gets so dark so fast during the winter after we get home from work, it's already pitch black. So this is so far so good, I'm liking it. Maybe after a week we'll leave our honest review and let you know what we think. But maybe we can try a different light. All right, Harry, good boy, Harry, wait, wait. All right, let's see. Okay, Harry's now red. Jasper, wait. Okay, now he's yellow. All right, let's try a different mode. Wait, guys, wait, wait. Blue, green, red. All right, ooh, look at that one. No, I think they're on the same mode now. I don't know which one this is. Maybe it's a rainbow mode. So this is like a softer glow. Uh oh, uh oh, oh my God. Ah! Yeah, so these color modes are nice when you have two dogs wearing them. So in case you can't see them, you just differentiate them by color. According to the instructions, these are also machine washable. So you just have to take out that, that uh, light pack and then wash it in the, in the washing machine. Okay, now I'm gonna turn off the light on Harry, even though he's the lighter dog. So you can see the difference. All right, Harry. Harry, we're gonna turn your light off. Good boy. Good boy. All right, so this is our dogs, one with and one without. And if you're a car driving from really far away, there's no way you can spot Harry. So this was us walking our dog before the, the light up harnesses. We just carry a lamp and a tiny little thing on our arms that flashes, hoping that the cars can see us. Okay, so we've had this harness for about three weeks now and I'm gonna tell you about the pros and cons and what we think of it. So one of the pros is that uh, it has a pretty long charge. It takes about two to three hours to get it fully charged, but we've only charged it once in the last three weeks. I mean, we definitely don't use this every day, but one charge has lasted three weeks so far. Um, another pro is that people seem to really like this harness. Yesterday when Ollie was walking them at night with these harnesses on, somebody actually stopped their car and asked us where we got these from. So that's pretty cool. I mean, they definitely are really eye-catching. Another pro is that it just really keeps your pet safe and it gives you uh, an ease of mind. Some of the cons are that when you're directly behind the dog, you don't really see the light, which is why I'm wearing this safety vest here. It's just extra precaution when we're walking them at night. Again, we don't have sidewalks in our neighborhood, so we walk on the same path that the cars drive on. Another con, about it is that I feel like with these harnesses, there's a loop on them that you can attach your, your leash to, but we decided not to do that with either Jasper or Harry because A, Harry pulls a lot and this harness is not built for a pulling dog. And then B, Jasper, we decided to just hook it on his regular collar because this ring is on the back of this harness. And if you have it on here and whenever he walks, it kind of just pose in either direction so it gets off-centered so that's that's one thing I don't really like about it I just wish it was built a little bit sturdier so I'm gonna actually take off Jasper's harness and show you the rest of the things that I talk about so so this is where that ring is built and it's on it's on their back when they're wearing it and so if he's pulling left and right the harness gets off-centered and you don't you don't really see the light anymore another con is that I feel like 
these buckles are a little bit on this. Oh, <laughs> I'm leaning on Jasper. Another con is that these buckles are kind of on the smaller side and I feel like they're not also not as sturdy, let's say compared to our harness um, buckle. Uh, and then also because this is one size fits all. Oh my God, Jasper. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to lean on me when he sits down. So another con about these is that they're one size fits all. So it means that you get this extra long strap. And then what you have to do is that you have to roll it up and then use the Velcro strap to, to tie it together so it doesn't dangle as you're using it. Okay, Jasper, okay. So we haven't, we haven't washed this yet, but what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to turn it over and just unscrew this black knob here and then actually maybe we can do that to show you what it looks like all right so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to unscrew this and they say don't lose it obviously because if you do you'll have to either buy a replacement part or this harness is not really going to stay on all right so you after you unscrew it whoops you just kind of take out this whole thing and obviously this can't be washed but this this part you can throw into the wash i think somebody also complained that the fact that this knob is at the bottom of the harness when you have it assembled it kind of pushes onto the dog's back so that's kind of a design flaw as well but other than that we're pretty happy with it um, our neighbors seem to really like it we're gonna leave a link below so you can check it out yourself if you like Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time we have new videos up. We feature our two dogs in our videos, Jasper the Rough Collie and Harry the Siberian Husky. And we also do a lot of DIY videos, unboxings, and more fun stuff. If you want to see more videos of Harry and Jasper, click here and click here. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.